funny thing is when I'd, I'd, uh, I'd come to work at Famous, because someone had asked me to talk to their friend who was building an HTML5 company. And I thought I'd go meet this young man and say, listen, don't throw your life away. You know, just it, native's the way to go if you want to do anything serious in terms of UI. And then he showed me what he and the CTO and the early employees had been able to build, uh, the infamous periodic table demo, which is essentially a 3D representation of one of the hardest things to do in JavaScript slash HTML up until now, which was the scroll view. Of, uh, infinite scroll view with momentum feeling smooth and natural to the user. And when he showed that to me, I knew there was something there that I had to investigate further. So since then, I've uh, been digging deeper into the possibilities of making uh, beautiful, sophisticated UI, animation, all the things people are used to with high-powered applications fully available to you know, the, the WebKit browser engine. I think uh, you know a few years ago when we when I was at you know Facebook tasked with making Facebook work across all the devices that people had in their hands across the world, you know the the imperative was to make uh, the Facebook experience work for people with this new thing called the iPhone as well as Android phones. Uh, tablets had emerged at that point, but also all the way down to uh, you know your old your old Blackberries and your you know random Samsung phones and your Nokia clamshells and your candy bars and everything. Um, and now, making applications work across the devices that people have in their pocket, for the most part, means getting it to work on uh, WebKit, Gecko, and Trident. And these engines have come a really long way over the past few years, to the point where you can actually build you know, pretty fully featured stuff using uh, those engines and JavaScript now. So the fragmentation problem, although it still exists to some extent, is a lot less pronounced if you set the bar at uh, web browsers which have sufficient JavaScript engines and display capabilities. So I think the big trick is uh, with Famous, in order to enter that game, in order to have uh, an experience of you know, sufficient quality, you're going to have to come in with a WebKit device. And again, when I say WebKit, I mean WebKit Gecko Trident. Um, but the good news is that almost all of us have these now, not only in our pockets, but in tablets, our desktops, our televisions, our set-top boxes, even heads-up displays in cars. You know, WebKit is, is pretty universal at this point. So that fragmentation issue, which had forced us down to the lowest common denominator of display HTML, is no longer the problem.